Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Helena and today I just wanted to come on and do kind of a trips, uh, trips, tricks and tips video. Um, just how I do my face makeup. Um, so my hair's a mess, ignore that. But first thing first, I'm going to take my Garnier Micellar Water and I'm going to do this because I really want to clean my face. And next, I'm going to go on with the primer and I'm going to use a... Uh, the Hangover Primer by Too Faced, and you really want to prime the skin because it gets the skin rejuvenated and ready for all the other products that you're going to layer on top, and it's going to make sure that your makeup is going to last throughout the day. So I'll just take a little bit of this, and this is a hydrating primer. My skin is not dry, um, so I'm going to go in with another primer, and this is just one from Ulta, and it's going to fill in my pores just right there. Just so I don't have like super big pores right there. And next, I'm gonna go in with foundation. And foundation is very important as well because it's gonna make sure your face is a nice and clear canvas, so everything's nice and flawless. And um, do some uh, nice foundations um, from the drugstore. Um, Maybelline has really good ones. Like the one I'm using today is from Maybelline. Um, they're Fit Me Foundation has like a lot of shades, like so all different skin tones can use them, as well as the, um, sorry I keep saying um, I say um a lot, the L'Oreal True Match, there's a lot of shades in that one, so there's like a color for every single skin type, um, and skin color. There's like different like formulas, so if your skin is dry, either you can use a dewy, dewy, dewy formula, and if your skin is, um, oily, you can use the matte formula and so I'm just gonna take the foundation and I'm just gonna apply it to my face with my fingers first just kind of spreading it out this is gonna make sure the foundation is getting all over the skin and then it's evenly distributed Another great tip is you also want to make sure your makeup is blended down your neck because you never know what you're going to be wearing and if you're wearing something that's more low cut, you're going to be seeing your neck and everything so it's important to blend it kind of right here so you don't have a different color from your face to your neck. Your foundation doesn't match perfectly, which most of the time it doesn't. So next I'm going to go and go ahead and do cream contour. You don't have to do this step, but I like to do this step because it just adds like another... That's adds another like set of dimension to the face, um, more than like a regular bronzer or wood. And this is just a darker shade of concealer. This is in the Maybelline Fit Me range. Um, if you have a darker skin tone, this could be used as a regular concealer for you. And this one's a really good concealer because it's full coverage and it's only about five or six dollars from the like drugstore. And I'm going to go in with my sponge again, and I'm just going to blend it out. And it blends, blends out relatively well. It's not like super good, but it blends out pretty good. And next, I'm going to go in with concealer, and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer um, again. This is just in a lighter shade for me. It's the lightest one that comes in, and that's shade 5. And I'm going to take that and put it underneath my eyes, around my nose. It's because the foundation doesn't always get like right in the crevices. So the concealer really will. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on my eyelids. Now this is a great tip if you don't use eyeshadow primer. This is really going to cancel out your eyelids and any discoloration you have. Like veins or anything peeking through. Um, and it also makes the shadow blend on top better. And I'm also going to add it... A little on my chin because my chin like never likes to get covered up and blend this out out of focus again i'm gonna go in with my powder this is the maybelline fit me powder as you can see i really like maybelline fit me but this powder is really inexpensive it's about six dollars again and it really blurs out everything Whew. and it also comes in many different colors so it's very versatile as you can see i really like the like, versatile option so you know it's like good for everybody to be able to use it I'm gonna take this powder from e.l.f. and it's just a loose setting powder. It looks like this, kind of looks like drugs, but it's not a promise. And I'm just gonna mix those two powders together, Maybelline Fit Me and the e.l.f. powder. 
just set over my skin because if you don't set your face then all the makeup like all the blending that you did from your contour or cream contour and your foundation it's all gonna be lifted up because it's gonna like sweat off and especially for like competition and that kind of stuff you really want to have a nice strong base so so once everything is set you can move on to I don't set my eyelids yet I'll wait until I do my brows so once it's all done I can use the physician's formula butter bronzer to apply it on the cheeks just for a nice bronze with the skin over top of the cream bronzer you don't have to do both but it honestly looks just adding that to the nose as well to just because you don't really let your nose because everything else is gonna be nice and bronze and then your nose is just gonna look flat and you're gonna suck it into your face the forehead um the f if you bronze your forehead it's gonna make it a look smaller so I'm gonna go and take this little brush and I'm gonna take this palette right here. And this is from Wet n Wild. This is literally so cheap. It works so good. So if you didn't want to get the butter bronzer, this is a really good option as well. This one's really good for contouring. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in there. And just contour with those cheekbones. carve it out I'm gonna use the elf powder because the Maybelline powder kind of leaves a weird creamy cast over my cheeks that's not cute so I'm gonna use the elf powder to carve it out and what I mean by carving out is sharpening under the lines of the contour this is going to make it more intense and make it really stand out and that's what we want and I'm gonna be using the self terms Makeup Revolution palette. Now this is the only like like non-affordable option because there's really not affordable highlighter that I really like and it's light enough for my skin tone. There's a lot of other highlighters that the drugstore has that are for darker skin tones, but they don't make any highlighter that shows up on me not looking crazy. So I'm just gonna take this light color right here, mix it with this kind of like purple tone, and I'm just gonna apply that cheeks next I'll go in this one by physician's formula just because it's all sitting there and I'll use it I've never used this though so I'm not sure how it's gonna go looks a little sheer but we'll see So I'm just going to really apply a lot of blush because um, especially for competitions, you really want to apply a lot because you're going to be on stage and you're going to have the lights and you're not going to be, um, I, don't know, I don't know what I was trying to go with there, but you want to really want to make sure the blush like, really pops because you're going to be washed out from the stages. So you really want to make sure it's like really nice and on there. This blush is like pretty forgiving. It's, I'm going to brush away the bag underneath my cheeks and I'm gonna set my face this step is optional but it's highly recommended just take a setting spray just to keep everything locked in place because you're gonna be sweating you're going to be I don't know just throughout the day your face is gonna get oily and it, this is gonna reduce it up a lot so I'm just gonna take the Mario Badescu I'm gonna go in with another highlighter just to re-intensify everything because it kind of got lost and this is just a highlighter from Ofra, and it's in Glazed Donut. It's the collab with Nikki Tutorials. It's literally my favorite. And I'm just going to take that. And really apply it. And I'm also going to apply it really right to the centers. So if you go like this, you smile. Let me make sure you can see that highlighter. And you smile. It makes it good for pictures and everything. It's really nice. Also, in the inner corners, I'm going to take this Tarte palette. 
or you can use the highlighter and I'm just going to apply that right in the inner corners. And I'm going to take um, this e.l.f. brow pencil, this is literally $2, and I'm going to comb up all my brow hairs. The only thing bad about this pencil is that the tip on it is not as like sharp, it's kind of a dull tip, so I don't really have to like work with it. I'm just going to go ahead and draw that one underneath first on both sides of my eyebrows. start to fill it in a little bit okay and then I'm gonna take that spoolie again and I'm just gonna comb the brow hairs down and now I'm gonna add the tops to the brows I'm just gonna take it like this Okay, so I went ahead and carved the brows off camera, and for that I just took some concealer and just run it underneath my brows just to really carve them out. And then I went ahead and set my eyelids just with the face powder that we used earlier in the video. Next, we're going to go ahead and begin on eyes. We're going to start off using the Anastasia palette on Renaissance. And I'm just going to take the sloppy brush from Wet n Wild and take... Uh, raw sienna and burnt orange these two shades just go ahead and get those into the crease and this is called a transition shade and this is really going to help you build up what you need for your look and I'm gonna use this the shade down here it is called It's called buns. Not for sure though, but I'm just gonna take this shade and kind of pat it on the outer corners. And just getting it started, just it's all about first Nokia, that's really all about blending the colors. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's in Mocha. And like I said, doing the same thing, just building up that color, building up that intensity. Of course, on different skin tones, you're gonna have to blend up differently. So like on a lighter skin tone, you're gonna have to go lighter. On a darker skin tone, you're gonna have to go more heavier because it won't really show up. And lighter skin tones, like I said, it's gonna show up a lot more use darker shades so you really want to take the time and really build it up because you don't just want to like go straight on with that dark color because you're not going to have any way of like lighting it but if you keep building up you're going to have a way of darkening it easier okay so now i'm gonna go with this brush this is like a little bit more tapered brush and this is from almar cosmetics and i'm just going to take all the other colors that i use the two dark browns and I'm just really gonna kind of stamp them on right here because a lot of the shades like get lost right here and we really wanna make sure like when someone is looking from the side, like you don't have like a gap right there. I'm gonna go back in with those lighter shades that we started off with and just really lightly blend out the colors on top so everything's nice and seamless, just like that. And I'm also going to take that same brush and just run it underneath the lash line just to make sure it's nice and smoky. Next, I'm going to go with the black and I'm going to go back into Prism Palette from Anastasia to use the black just because her black shadows are a lot better than any other shadows I've used before. Literally taking the tiniest amount and I'm just going to apply that right to that outer corner. You barely want any black, it's just like barely intensifying. Just enough. Okay, 
then I'm going to go in with a glitter on the inner half right inner half of my lid right here um I'm not gonna go in with like a loose glitter just because like I have to kind of speed this up because I do have somewhere to go and it's a little bit messy so I'm just gonna brush everything under my eyes it might have like fell and I'm gonna go and take this glitter right here it's like a press glitter in summer from Anastasia and for that I'm just gonna use my finger you don't have to like, well it's really like a glitter it's like a shimmer but it's like next level shimmer it's like really intense and I'm gonna go over with Dreamer just a little bit, just to lighten it just a tad. Um, you could also like add a glitter on top of this, but like I said, I can't, I have somewhere to go and I don't have a lot of time. So just to blend those edges out, you're gonna go right next to where the glitter or shimmer meets the outer corner, just so they're like nicely blended and separated. Next, I'm gonna go in with a liner. Not doing anything fancy, just gonna line the top of the lash line. I'm, yeah, so I'm just gonna take the Kat Von D and I'm just gonna do this looking over here. And I'm gonna go back in with my sponge and my powder. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this just right under the lash line before we do mascara because what this is going to do is this is going to make sure that the mascara doesn't get on your bottom lash line. Mm, I can taste the powder. Doesn't get on your bottom lashes or your lash lines so or doesn't smear everywhere. And I'm just going to use the little like mini gifted mascara from Tarte. Any mascara like will really do honestly just as long as your lashes are nice and black. So it's just like that. And you don't have to wear lashes but I'm going to wear lashes. Always wear lashes. Um, these are from Kiss and Page Boy. These were like on sale for like two dollars at Walgreens last night, so I picked them up. And like I said, oh, this came and it came with lash glue. That's recommended. Go go to Walgreens and get that for like two dollars right now. Because it came with lash glue, that's like really nice. I'm not gonna use the lash glue because I like mine a little bit better. I'm just gonna take this lash glue. This is by Kiss. I'm gonna pop a little bit of lash glue on the top. This is just, this makes it like extremely tacky. So your lashes will be super easy to put on. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lipstick. First, I'm going to lip line them with the lip liner from Ulta. Then I'm gonna go in with my liquid catsuit lipstick. Um, this is also like $2 from Walgreens last night, and this is in shade. Nudie Bitsy, it's literally so nude, but with this like, kind of look, it's really dramatic. You really want a nude lipstick. I use my fingers to apply lashes um, just because I find it's kind of easy to do it that way. Okay, here's the finished look in studio lighting. Get up close. Oh, here it is in natural lighting. There we go. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed my video.